Now here's something I can get excited about, giving you a free Instagram carousel template that is gonna help you on Instagram. Check this out. You can use this template as a starting point to create something branded and awesome for your business. Carousels are constantly my top performing posts when measured by shares and saves. In fact, this Instagram carousel has been saved over 4,000 times. I think you need to post carousels and I am gonna help you with that today. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. I'm so glad you're here today because we're gonna get you all set up with a free Instagram carousel template, a few actually. These templates are for Adobe Express, my go-to platform, browser, and app for designing standout content quickly without needing to be a graphic designer. I am a very proud Adobe Express ambassador and Adobe Express is sponsoring this video. It's definitely the platform I talk the most about on this YouTube channel besides Instagram and I seriously love it for designing my Instagram carousels. Now seems like the right time to jump in together and I will show you this template up close. Let's start over on my Instagram where you will see pretty often I post this template right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click it, make it large. This is what I call my simple Instagram carousel template, which means it's literally just text modeled almost like a book, okay? And so what you see here right off the top, I usually put a, a title. For me, it's usually a reminder or a tip that I give in just a single sentence or two. And then I put my social media handle down at the bottom. And as you scroll through this template, starting at page two, I will also put a link if relevant up at the top. In this case, it's to my YouTube channel. It could be to a podcast episode or a blog post just to give you some ideas. And basically what I do is when I get the styling right on one carousel image, I click duplicate and then I just change the content pretty much in the middle until I arrive at this very last uh, slide that you see right here, which is a different color and it is a call to action. I'm basically asking my subscriber or my, in this case, an Instagram follower uh, or viewer, in this case, if they're not a follower, to do something. In this case, the call to action is to go to my YouTube channel for more information. So now let's take a closer look at the template that you can see here. I'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit closer so you can see it up close. And again, you're gonna see some familiar styling elements to what I just showed you. But my hope is that you can take this, what is starting as a simple carousel sell and make it your own okay so i'll just actually do a quick click through so you see i've got the link up top like i showed you in the example i've got some little reminder text here to teach you what to do which is actually going to be to duplicate this first slide and change some of the elements make sure you sub in your social media handle there so people know where they can follow and again a reminder don't forget to change the styling elements of this carousel to match your own colors and fonts which is so so easy to do in adobe express in fact i'll show you how to do it you would click on the text here okay and that's going to bring up your main style menu from here i can choose from all kinds of really really nice adobe fonts that's all integrated here into the platform if i wanted to upload my profile photo here i would simply click on photos upload photo and you can pop your profile photo in there you can click and adjust the text. In this case, I have it grouped, but I can ungroup that and I can select it and just change the text here to be your social media handle. And if I wanna change that color, that option is right here. And if I have preloaded my brand colors into Adobe Express, which I suggest you do, uh, then really it's just as simple as selecting here from those. This is the simple Instagram carousel. I'm gonna show you one more template. Now let's move on to my second template for you, which I'm calling a seamless Instagram carousel. Now, this is obviously more stylized than what you're gonna see in my template, but this is an example of how I've customized that template and made a design that works well between images, okay? It slides really well, and that's the idea, is that it's a seamless design. So let's go over to Adobe Express where I've got this template ready for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do as I do and zoom in now that you've seen it at a glance. And essentially, this this is different than the last one I showed you, where each uh, image was an individual canvas, and you can download each one separately and then upload each one to your design. In this case, I've given you two images that are equivalent in size to five images. I'm gonna show you coming up how to use a tool for free to split this image into five. Okay, so it's, again, it's pre-sized to be five images, and I'll explain why in a moment. 
that tool is coming up in a second. Let's start on the first slide. Even though the background here is all white, I have sectioned it off in squares so that you can click the background and at least see the rough perimeter, okay, of where this image is going to break. This is sized to be perfectly square for when you upload on Instagram. Again, if I click that second slide, you'll see here the background um, is showing you roughly where that carousel will break. The reason that this is a single seamless image is have a look at this parrot. If it was separate, it would be extremely hard to line up this artwork between both canvases if they were different uh, canvases or images. So in this case, uh, I'm assuming that you're going to create a carousel that's at least five slides. Five is probably the minimum, I might say, and 10 is definitely the maximum. That's what's allowed on Instagram. So again, by setting up your template this way, we're able to have graphic elements. There are lots of great, by the way, design assets here in Adobe Express for you to explore. This way, they don't have to be perfectly between them, so you know how to line them up if on separate canvases, but instead you can just really focus on getting a great design. So I've actually given you prompts along the bottom of generally what should go on each slide. So let's start with obviously the title, your social media handle. Here we want to introduce the topic on this first slide. If there's a link, you can give it. Here we want to provide context on this slide, and certainly a visual can help here with that. This is a stock photo and uh, from the Adobe Stock Collection that I grabbed here. Just by clicking photos and actually typing in the word carousel, since that's what I'm talking about, and I found this great one that I thought looked awesome. You can pop in an image here. Again, I've made it easy for you. If you want to keep it in the same dimensions, you can click this and click replace and just put in your own image there. So moving on to slide three, we want to provide value here. Okay, we can have a seamless little image that goes between both carousels. Uh, carousel images, that's gonna make it exciting. And then you wanna to continue to give us more value. Let me move on to the second image. Now this will complete 10 total slides. You don't need to use all of them. If there's some that you wanna get rid of, you can just leave them blank and delete them before you upload them. So here, teach me something on this slides. In this case, I'm saying three reasons why you should be on carousels or why you should be posting carousels rather. Make them buy in on this slide. So I say, carousels are my best performing content. My top carousel has over 11,000 saves. That is true. Here, uh, I'm just kind of giving the final instructions. As I say here, we're nearing the end. So summarize your point on these final slides. Um, as I told you, it will download this design as two separate images that are the length of five Instagram images side by side okay and when I actually show you this tool here now in a moment it will separate them for you crop them in one action as five separate images and then you will be ready to post this on social media you can put a link here or put a final call to action as well your social media handle and your profile photo to do that as I showed you I'll show you quickly you would just click upload photo and of course you want to apply your brand to this design don't just keep it my brand fonts and colors you want to apply by your own. The final thing I'm going to show you is where that link on that carousel is going to take you. The link is philp.al slash split. And what you'll do here is those final downloaded graphics from Adobe Express, you'll upload each one just like this. You'll get a little preview of that. Very important here under options, how to split the image. You The default will be vertical, but you want to select horizontally here. And then of course, because we've got five images, change that value to five. The final step here is to just select split image. And in just a moment, it will literally generate those for you. You can download them in a single click by clicking this zipped file, or you can download them individually. I will, for this example, just download one image so you can see how that image looks as it would be cropped, just like that. So there you have it. That is the seamless carousel. Now you have a simple carousel template and a seamless carousel template. So there you have it. Instagram carousel templates for Adobe Express. I'm a fan of this tool and format, and I'm excited about all the possibilities for you to create something awesome from these. Do me a favor and tag me when you go to post your carousel so I can give it a like. And make sure you try Adobe Express for free if you haven't yet. You are gonna love this tool and you're gonna love these templates. The platform is linked below in the description. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. 
like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. And those videos are coming up next.